Deadland Harvest is an apocalyptic zombie horror novel written by Rachel Ox. It is also the second installment in the Deadland saga. And it continues the adventures of Cash, Clutch, Jace, and the survivors of Camp Fox as they have to deal with dwindling surprise thieves, the elements, and even a horde of zombies that are just marching across the country. This definitely is a great read, and it definitely does a great job of just giving so much exposition into the world and to the characters. Cash, again, is a great character. She has so much personality. She's strong. She's vulnerable. She has this great relationship with Clutch and Jace, and together, all three of these characters are just completely awesome. They make such a great team. Well, one lacks in, the other one picks up in. Their strengths complement the others. There's just so many different dynamics to these characters that just make for a great team and they are just so likable you can tell that cash and clutch their own emotional relationship romantic relationship is more prominent in this and as a result of the trials and tribulations that they have been through also there are new characters that are more fleshed out in this we have a tyler who ends up being the leader of the group who is just so charismatic he's just so likable he's just so protective he's just a great character there's this rivalry between tyler and clutch due to some of the decisions and actions that took place in the first book there's also clutch being handicapped due to an accident that did happen in the first book and how he's trying to deal with that and i think that's a great way of actually fleshing out his character make him more emotional make him more human i mean he is a very human person and he's a very strong and disciplined one but you can kind of see that this accident that has handicapped him for the most part is kind of wearing on his character and it's interesting seeing how all the rest of these characters or have to deal with that dynamic with him but it also shows that he is still pretty much a badass because he does contribute so much in spite of his handicap other great characters that are just as prominent and enjoyable to read about is wes vicky grizz Deborah and even Benji. Benji is just a great kid. He's just so, he's just like the hope and the life and the energy that these survivors need in this world are just so bleak and just so just dead. The bulk of this story is now that these survivors have managed to overcome the zombie threat at Camp Fox as well as the threat of Doyle's dogs, they have to deal with this even bigger threat, which they end up finding out comes in the form of millions of amassed zombies just marching across the landscape. These characters and how they have to come across that decision, whether they should run from this threat, whether they should try to hide, whether they should try to defend against this threat, whether they should try to go on the offensive against this threat. This all comes in a very interesting, well-written and compelling story that also, again, gives characters their own perspective and their own moment so it does help to flesh these characters out the zombie hordes is actually a pretty brilliant idea and in the way that the story actually addresses it because i think it does give the story a bit uh, a bit of flares what is the zombies that's an interesting trait we have zombies in other movies and books that do horde and they do do this but i don't think that they do it to this same extent like this book actually gives a reason for them to do that and I think that it's done really well. Also, what we did see in the first book was somewhat of a special zombie. And I think that they do reiterate that by resurfacing another one in this book. And it does open up so much towards the zombies and new possibilities when it comes to dealing with zombies and what the infection actually means. And again, as in the first book, the zombies aren't the only thing that people have to deal with. They have dwindling supplies, location, they have to deal with other survivors the climax at the end which was very sad admittedly though a lot of good characters do die in this book i will not spoil it uh who what when and where but a lot of good great likable characters that you just relate yourself with they they do pass and it's it's terrible it sucks but it's part of a great well-written story Ox again definitely deserves a thumbs up she did a great terrific job with this read and i like the fact that she does the she does reiterate that the zombies aren't the only thing and there are even things that the zombies do that they don't intentionally do that have an effect on the land that also affects the characters one of the best aspects when it comes to the writing due to Rachel Alt's just great talent is how 
in Deadland Harvest, she manages to implement the seven deadly sins as she did a great job of implementing the nine levels of hell with Dante's Inferno in 100 Days of Deadland. I can't say that I do like how the fact that Cash, Clutch, and Jace have also formed this little group, but they're actually with the Camp Fox survivors and they all do function really well. I mean, Grizz is a great character and I like that dynamic that he has with Clutch, that he, they're both with former Rangers and everything. So it feels like Clutch has a, a brother in arms and Grizz is actually a pretty cool character. And I like that he's more of like the spiritual uh, character in the group. In the end, Deadland Harvest is a terrific read as well as a terrific sequel. Aux does it again with great characters, great storytelling, great setup. Love Cash, Clutch, Jace, Tyler, Grizz. Just love the characters, love the suspense, love the constant action, the pacing, the writing, everything. Deadland Harvest definitely deserves a five out of five. If you enjoyed the first book, 100 Days in Deadland, you would definitely enjoy this book. It'll definitely take you on a great ride. Now in the comment section below, guys, let me know, have you read Deadland Harvest and what did you think about it? Until the next video, guys, Never Chase, signing out.